A graphic video secretly recorded by a whistleblower in the Ethiopian army shows what seems to be Ethiopian troops executing an estimated 34 unarmed men in the Tigray region in January, the US-based Tigray Media House reported. <laughs> According to the International Criminal Court, extrajudicial execution of an armed individual is considered to be a war crime. Later, the video shows prisoners walking in a line as one soldier instructs others to shoot them in the head. Before still, images show soldiers kicking several cops off of a small cliff. Soldiers can be heard urging others to minimize the use of ammunition while confirming no prisoners are left alive. All 34 prisoners seen in the video have been presumed dead. An analysis of the video published by CNN in collaboration with Amnesty International seemed to corroborate the video, finding that it had indeed featured soldiers in Ethiopian army uniforms with the surrounding landscape seeming to line up with an area of central Tigray which had recently reported a massacre. In addition, the analysis found that the soldiers in the video were speaking the Ethiopian language Amharic, which is not typical of the local region, though it is largely spoken only in Ethiopia. According to the media, the video is estimated to have been recorded around January 15, 2021, though the news organization could not confirm the exact date. A man from the mountain town of Mehbere Dego in central Tigray told reporters that he believes he identified his younger brother in the video, recognizing the clothes he wore the last time on the same day of the massacre. The United States, Germany, France and other G7 countries called on Friday for an independent and transparent investigation into alleged human rights abuses during the conflict in Ethiopia's northern Tigray region. Ethiopia's Federal Army ousted the former regional ruling party, the Tigray People's Liberation Front, TPLF, from the capital, Mikele, in November. Thousands of people died, hundreds of thousands have been forced from their homes, and there are shortages of food, water, and medicine in the region. The government says most fighting has ceased, but there are still isolated incidents of shooting. Ethiopian Prime Minister Abe Ahmed said last week Eritrea has agreed to withdraw troops it had sent during the fighting into Ethiopian territory along the Amuchua border amid mountain report of human rights abuses. Eritrea has denied its forces joined the conflict. The G7 Foreign Minister of Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the United Kingdom and the United States and EU Foreign Policy Chief Joseph Borre expressed their concerns in a joint statement.